Can you guess which prophet has a miracle in the ocean? Or the story about a stick that can become a big snake? Yep, that's prophet Musa. Musa was the prophet among the children of Israel. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Jamal Nadir. I'm from SMP Toy Wizard Boarding School. On this occasion, I would like to share an inspiring story about the great commander, Prophet Musa. Musa was born in the time of Pharaoh in Egypt. He is known as a cruel king. One night, Pharaoh dreamed that Egypt was dark except the house of Israel. Confused by his dream, Pharaoh called his fortune teller to draw his dream. My advisor, last night I dreamed that Egypt was in the dark, but I saw light in the house of my slave, Bani Israel. Hmm, that's a bad sign for Egypt, my lord. We'll be born of sons. We'll destroy your kingdom. Huh? Then, what should I do? We must prevent them by killing our sons of Bani Israel. Hmm, all right. Let's kill all their boys. The news spread in Egypt. The son who was born will kill directly by the kingdom. In the village, Musa was born. But because his mother knew the news, she was afraid Musa would be killed. My husband, what about our children? We must save him before the Pharaoh army comes here. But what should we do? Put him in the box and send him to the meal. May Allah protect him. With sad heart, Musa's mother put him in the box and drew him into the river. Unfortunately, the box arrived in the front of Pharaoh's place and found by his wife. Asya, who really needs a child, asked her husband permission to take care of him. My husband, I want a baby boy in the river. Can I take care of it? No, he must be killed. Please grant my request. Because Pharaoh very loves his wife, he grant her request. Finally, she take care of him, but she couldn't breastfeed him. In the end, she looked for a mother to breastfeed Musa. The news reached Musa's mother, and she immediately offered to breast milk Musa. Musa grew up in and be a mature and pious man. But on the other hand, Pharaoh is getting out of control, and he claimed to be a god. One day. Musa received an order from Allah to be a prophet to preach to Pharaoh. Allah commanded Musa to go to Pharaoh, but Pharaoh challenged him with his magician. My witch attacked Musa. The rope were thrown and turning into snake ready to attack Musa.
Well, this is my steak. Suddenly, Musa stick turning into a big snake and ate all the snake from Pharaoh magician. One night, Musa and his followers were ordered by Allah to move to Sham. Hearing that news, Pharaoh was angry and wanted to chase Musa after to kill him. Musa and his followers' journey were stopped by the ocean and Pharaoh with his army behind them. Musa was afraid, but Allah revelation came down. Ashura 63 Hit the sea with your stick, then the sea will split like a great mountain. The ocean departed. Musa and his followers crossed the sea, followed by the Pharaoh and his army. When Musa and his followers arrived on the other side, and Pharaoh and his army still in the middle of the sea. Allah also ordered Musa to hit the sea again. The sea reunited and Pharaoh with his army died because drowning in the sea. The Honorable Judge and Audience from the story above is, we can learn Allah doesn't like the arrogance of his creatures. Wherever and whenever, Allah can do back what we have. That's all for my story. Hopefully, you'll like it. I'm Jamal Nadim. At last, I say, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.